Hey guys, welcome back to Championship Muscle. Coach P here. Today's topic of discussion, testosterone. What is it and why does it matter so much? Coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. So the question of the day is, what exactly is testosterone and why does it matter so much for your gym goals? Well, testosterone is that hormone produced in the testicles, you know, that ball sack for men and to a lesser extent, the ovaries for a woman. But it's a crucial hormone for both genders. For us gym goers, it plays a crucial role in building muscle, increasing strength, and optimizing our workout performance. Testosterone is a very highly anabolic hormone, which translates to this. It is responsible for muscle repair, muscle strength, and muscle growth. When you're firing on all eight cylinders, meaning that your levels are in optimal range, you're gonna have your best gains and your best recovery. And on top of all of that, testosterone helps with post-workout recovery, which means you're gonna bounce back faster after the intense training session and be ready to head to the gym again the next day. All right, let's get to the good part. How do we get on the right track to boosting our test levels naturally? First of all, you gotta start with a very well-balanced diet. And that diet must consist of the right kind of meats, not McDonald's and all that shit you're thinking about, order the left side of the menu twice. I'm talking about turkey, fish, lean ground beef. Then you get your really good healthy green vegetables, you get your seeds, your nuts, your avocados, get your good fats in there, and you have some of the low glycemic index fruits. That's how you get this ball rolling to get your testosterone level on course. You're gonna start drinking beers and hammering back them sugary drinks and going to Starbucks and getting all that friggin' fluff and syrup, you're just pissing in the wind. Ain't gonna work. So, we'll talk about the next section after this. These foods are gonna provide you the essential nutrients like zinc, magnesium, vitamin D, and the healthy fats that support testosterone production. Remember, like I said a minute ago, avoid the excessive consumption of that shit I talked about, processed foods, the sugary snacks and the unhealthy fats because they will negatively impact your hormone levels. All right, the next thing you gotta do is get your ass off the couch, stop being that friggin' couch potato, unless it's Sunday because everyone lounges on Sunday. You gotta get your ass to the gym or get yourself involved in some kind of physical activity. I don't give a shit if it's fucking pickleball, picking your ass, get to the gym, get engaged in some kind of physical activity that has a high impact on your testosterone levels. All right, you heard me talk about some kind of physical activity. I'm talking about compound movements like squats, deadlifts, bench presses, overhead presses. These all work multiple muscle groups simultaneously. Again, leading to the increased production of testosterone. Don't be a couch potato. Get your ass to the gym and start doing some kind of physical activity. And make sure you put a really good workout routine together, not some bullshit routine. You want a workout routine that's gonna have some kind of physical activity, like weight training, and some kind of cardiovascular activity, whether it be the treadmill, the stepper, the elliptical, something like that, incorporate both. I do 25 minutes of cardio after my workout. I get on the treadmill and I walk for 25 minutes. If I can do it, you can do it. Now let's talk about the importance of sleep. Getting enough quality sleep is crucial for hormone regulation, including testosterone. In other words, do not get disruptive sleep. Make sure your sleep is very restful. No, no. Hey, it is important that you get the right amount of deep sleep because this one body is repairing and restoring itself. And that is very vital for maintaining healthy testosterone levels. So don't pull the shit that I just did and get woken up abruptly. Try to get at least a good seven to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep each night and try to establish a consistent sleep schedule to support your body's natural circadian rhythms. That's an SAT word for you guys still in high school. Another thing that affects your test levels is stress. So make sure you keep your shit together. If you gotta go talk to somebody, go talk to somebody. You may need to be on some medication, not a bad thing. You may need to go talk to somebody, call a friend or whatever. Get your shit together, manage your stress efficiently, and that's gonna affect your test level. 
you know, when I'm having a bad day and everyone has their bad days, I pound six pots of coffee and then I go in my backyard and feed my pet raccoons. But hey, you gotta do what works for you. That's what works for me. Go out, experience nature. Go for walks on the beach, go play golf. Although golf can be very stressful too. If you ever watch some people throw their shit in the fucking water. You gotta find out what works for you. Relax, take it easy. It ain't the end of the world. All right, now let's talk about vitamin D. This fat soluble vitamin plays a significant role in testosterone production. And as a matter of fact, vitamin D3 is one ester shy of an actual testosterone steroid. So D3, I take a lot of that shit every day, at least 500 milligrams of D3 a day. And I suggest you may want to also. Another way that the body produces vitamin D is through the sun. So what do you do? You take your ass to the beach or you go to California where all the muscle heads are. They get a lot of sun out there. Look how big they are. Vitamin D is good for you. You know, these natural ways I talked about are very effective, but every result is gonna be different for every person. So make sure you consult with your doctor also. Basically, none of this shit is etched in stone. Look, if you think you have low testosterone levels or you're concerned about your hormone levels or your hormone health, go see a doctor and have that doctor pull your blood work and get your hormones checked. It's something that can be corrected very easily. Be very transparent. I've had low testosterone since I was in my early 30s and I've been on testosterone replacement therapy for probably, I don't know, over 35 years now. So it's not the end of the world. There's a lot of people out there with low T. So go to your doctor, go get your blood level checked. You want your testosterone panel checked and see what your hormone levels are and your doctor will guide you on what avenues are available to you to correct this hormone imbalance. All right, guys, in closing, if you think that your hormone levels are low and it can happen to people in their 30s, it can happen in their 40s, 50s, 60s, if they think your levels are low, Go get your blood work done. Go see your doctor. Have your blood test done and see what your levels are and it can be corrected. So with that being said, if you liked what you saw in this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to help support my channel, I just added a link in the description below to buy me a coffee. You can help support my channel by making a donation to help offset my costs of video production because my fucking editor's killing me. Go to the link, buy me a coffee. It's funny, he's laughing at me with this. Go to the link, buy me a coffee. There's a membership there. You join the membership. You have access to uh, download my ebook, a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me. It's a pretty neat site. Please, you know, give me a shout out, give me a donation, and I keep the content coming to you guys. Until next time, peace out until I see you back in the gym.